It is common to have questions and concerns about what to expect. Here are answers to some common questions to help lower your anxiety and prepare you for your treatment. Your healthcare team is here to work with you to prevent and manage side effects, but they can only help if you keep them up to date on how you are feeling. Cancer and other treatments can be very stressful for you and your loved ones. It may cause you to feel anxious before, during, or even after treatment. Relaxation techniques can help calm your mind and help you mentally focus. They can help you manage anxiety, pain, and other physical symptoms that can affect your response to treatment. For some people, they can significantly improve their quality of life. You can use these techniques to help you relax, stay calm, and keep a clear head for making treatment decisions. Anxiety and stress can make us take short, shallow breaths. Shallow breathing does not allow enough oxygen to enter our bodies and can make us more anxious. As you practice deep breathing, imagine a peaceful setting. Here is a four-step breathing exercise. Take in a deep breath, hold the breath for several seconds, then exhale slowly. Repeat one or two more times. Do this whenever you feel stressed. Repetitive prayers are a form of meditation. Choose a word that is important to you, such as peace, love, or hope. Focus on this word, and if you find your mind wandering, focus back on the word. It is best to do this in a quiet environment where there are no distractions. This technique combines deep breathing and meditation. As you practice your deep breathing, imagine yourself in a peaceful setting. Continue deep breathing until you feel relaxed. Once you are relaxed, create a wakeful dream in your mind. Picture your pain being washed away by a gentle rain or sitting outside on a beautiful day with your body gaining strength from the sun shining down on you. Try practicing these relaxation techniques while listening to music or sounds from nature. Express what you are feeling. Record your emotions through photography, journaling, drawing, painting, or music. Share your feelings with people who you trust. Join a support group, the online Roswell community, or a buddy program. You do not have to face this alone. Remember, it may take a bit of time and practice to reach the point where you can use these techniques successfully in high stress situations. While you are a beginner, practice at times when your stress level is low to moderate. If you become frustrated during a practice session, stop and try again later. By practicing these techniques regularly, you can learn to use the power of your mind to decrease anxiety, lessen discomfort, improve sleep, and increase your sense of well-being. Do not hesitate to tell your doctor or nurse that you are feeling nauseous. There are medications that you can take before chemo to prevent nausea. Your doctor can prescribe anti-nausea medications called antiemetics to help you feel better once the nausea has started. There are many medications and combinations of medications that can be tried. Please be patient while your team finds which ones work best for you. Give your doctor feedback about how they are working or if a medication no longer works for you. Try eating smaller meals more frequently during the day instead of three large meals a day. Eat and drink slowly. If you're nauseous or vomiting, try clear liquids first. If they stay down, try other liquids and then move to bland foods such as rice, applesauce, and bread. You need to stay hydrated during treatment and nausea and vomiting can lead to dehydration. Dehydration occurs when your body does not have enough water or fluids to function normally. Severe dehydration can have very serious consequences. Drink plenty of water and other non-alcoholic beverages. Products such as Pedialyte will replace fluids and electrolytes such as sodium, salt, and potassium. 
you may be worried about hair loss during chemotherapy treatment. If you do lose your hair, it may take about 6 to 12 months to grow back. Sometimes new hair will grow back a different texture or color. These changes may last a short time or they may be permanent. Talk to your doctor or nurse about getting a wig before you have lost all your hair. It will make it easier to match your natural color. Wigs are available at the Roswell Park Resource Center free of charge to patients. Having a wig ready before you've lost your hair can help you feel more prepared and more in control. Some chemo medications can cause skin problems such as dry, itchy skin, rashes, acne, peeling, etc. Wash with a simple detergent-free soap. Use a gentle moisturizer that does not contain any alcohol products. Use lukewarm water for washing, showering, or bathing instead of hot water. If you do get a rash, do not put anything on it until you have gotten permission from your doctor. Forgetfulness. During your chemo treatments, you may have problems remembering some things, trouble concentrating, or have a shorter attention span. These changes are commonly referred to as chemo brain. You may feel that you are just not functioning as you used to before treatment. Currently, the exact cause of chemo brain is unknown, but researchers are studying in hopes of finding effective treatments. Being confused, memory loss, short attention span, inability to focus on daily tasks, having difficulty finding the right word. Here are some tips on managing chemo brain. Write things down on a list or in a notebook. For example, you may want to write down grocery lists or to-do lists for chores around the house. It may also be helpful to record highlights from a doctor's visit or lab results so you can review it later. Use a personal planner or a wall calendar. This will help you remember important dates such as birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, and appointments. Be sure to include extra details such as time, place, and if you need to bring anything with you. Be open with family and friends. Sharing information about what you are going through is a private decision, yet it can be very helpful to have the support of others through difficult times. Family and friends may help remind you of things you may have forgotten. Share your symptoms with your doctor or social worker. Since your symptoms may cause anxiety or feelings of sadness, it is important to share them with a health care provider. Roswell Park offers services and programs that can help you and your loved ones through treatment and increase your overall sense of well-being. The Resource Center is staffed by cancer information specialists and has computers for your use, a lending library of movies, CDs, and audiobooks like yoga and meditation, a wig, turban, and scarf boutique, and more. It is located on the first floor of the hospital next to the Sunflower Cafe. You can contact them at 716-845-8659. Talk to your doctor and nurse if you are experiencing any side effects other than those you have been told to expect, or if your side effects are severe. Preparing yourself is important. We are here to help.